this video, I will be showing you how I made this gorgeous dream catcher. I used the following materials. A freshly cut willow branch, rope, wire, scissors, pruning shears, hot glue gun, and a bunch of feathers my friend found for me in the fields surrounding her farm. I started creating a rounded shape with the branch I had freshly cut of a willow in my garden. You can use any type of branch you like or that's at hand to you and I chose not to remove the bark because I really like the green look of it. If you do choose to remove it you can easily do that with a little knife. Once I have the shape I like I secure the ends with a little bit of wire to keep it in place. Dream catchers originate in Native American tribes. They hold great spiritual value. They believe in the true importance of dreams. They hang the dream catchers above the beds of children to protect them from bad dreams or other harm. The round shape represents the earth and the web absorbs bad dreams at night and discharges them during the day. The feathers act as a ladder, allowing good dreams to descend to the sleeping person. The meaning behind dream catchers really resonates with me. And when my friend asked me to make her one, of course I did. The feathers that I'm using in this video are all hand collected by her, which I'm very thankful for, and have all belonged to wild birds that live in the fields surrounding her farm. I'm very thankful that she collected these feathers for me. No animals were harmed in the making of my dream catcher and this makes me very happy as opposed to buying feathers in a store. I'm using this rope I had laying around. The rope I have consists out of three little pieces of rope combined and I split them to have smaller pieces of rope. This also made the rope break during the process but a little knot in there just makes everything okay again. I can't recall I've ever made a dream catcher in my life. And I thought the process was really soothing and if you keep in mind that it's a spiritual thing, that you're making something beautiful for somebody else, for them to hang over their bed and have pleasant nights and pleasant dreams, that really made it nice for me to do. So I really recommend doing this for someone you love. I really love this process and I think the web turned out really pretty. Now it's time to bring out the feathers. And as I said, I have this huge bag filled with beautiful feathers in all shapes and sizes and colors. I have no idea which uh, birds these feathers belong to. If you have any idea, please comment down below. They're all Dutch birds, so if you know, I would be very keen to find out. First, I'm going to sort through the feathers to see if I can find similar ones to make pairs and to use for my project. And in the meantime, I'm just enjoying how beautiful they all are. I would really like to encourage everyone who loves working with feathers to collect them in nature. Go explore, go find them, collect them, and when you have enough, go make something beautiful out of it. In comparison to buying them in a store where there's a big possibility that a lot of animal cruelty is tied to them. Once I've sorted through all of them and collected the feathers that I'm planning on using, I am now going to pair them up and attach them to a piece of rope to hang from the bottom of the dream catcher. I'm doing this by tying a little rope around them, but because they're slippery on their feathers, I'm also using a little bit of hot glue to tie the rope onto the feathers to secure them better.
I also chose to put some feathers on the hoop because I really like the look of it and because I have feathers enough and I love all the colors and shapes I have so I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on the on the branch and then putting the feathers on and place them in the way that I find pretty and that I like What I love about this creative process is that now I'm turning it to see if there's a different way I would like to hang the feathers on the bottom. I decide that this is the way I like it. This is what I love about working with natural materials. For instance, if you have a branch, you can move it a lot of ways. You can look at it from different angles and then use the way you like the shape best. That's the same thing I was doing here. This is the last feather I'm going to attach. Just cut it to size. And then I'm going to use the hot glue gun to put more glue on the back to make sure that all feathers are nicely secured to the branch and won't fall off. When I'm sure all feathers are nice and secure, it is time to start hanging the feathers from the bottom. And again, I'm looking, do I want to have the middle feathers sit higher or lower? And this is just everything I love so much about creating your own thing. You can just do whatever you want. You can have it higher or lower. You can have them from low to high or from high to low, whatever you love. Now for hanging it, I got a little piece of rope that I looped on the top and I'm gluing it to stay in one place so you won't see the knot. And here she is, all done. And I am so excited with how she turned out. I made it for my friend Naleta and I hope she's going to have amazing dreams sleeping under this wonderful dream catcher. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you could give it a like, that would be amazing. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.